Hello and welcome to today's edition of the Austin Kemp Divorce Channel. Today we're going to discuss my divorce. How important are financial orders really? When a marriage comes to an end, there are various issues which need to be dealt with in order to be able to move on and start to plan your future. One of the most important elements of a marriage that should be taken care of when the couple separate is the financial side of the relationship. But how critical is it to make sure that a financial settlement is reached? And should tackling how everything from the family home to pensions are handled really be at the top of your already burgeoning to-do list? We'll take a closer look. Family courts can make a range of financial orders. In England and Wales, the family court has the power to make various financial orders to divide up assets following the breakdown of a marriage. Contested court proceedings are normally viewed as a last report. Either party can begin these proceedings. Usually, they only happen if the parties are unable to reach an agreement about how their assets should be divided post-divorce. Although asking a court to decide your financial settlement can be costly and time-consuming, it will ultimately result in a financial order which will give some certainty to both you and your spouse. However, this isn't the only way to get a financial order. Obtaining a financial order by agreement. Some divorcing couples are able to reach an agreement between themselves about how their finances are going to be divided. Otherwise, there are various methods available which have been designed to help couples achieve an agreement, including mediation, collaborative law, and solicitor to solicitor negotiation. If both parties are able to reach an agreement about their financial settlement, a financial order to this effect can be requested from the courts. No time limit on claims. If there is no financial order which dismisses all future claims, one party could bring a claim against the other party at any point in the future. Of course, this does not necessarily mean that a claim will be successful, but rather that the future claims may be possible, maybe even decades into the future. Financial orders and divorce. Many people are surprised to learn that the financial settlement and the divorce are both separate processes. This means that the financial side of things doesn't always get dealt with upon divorce, leaving people potentially open to financial claims from their ex far into the future. If you would like to be sure that your ex cannot bring a claim against you further down the line, then it is vital to not only reach an agreement about your financial settlement, but also to seek financial order from the courts to reflect what you've agreed. As always, it is highly recommended that you seek independent legal advice specific to your circumstances from an experienced divorce solicitor.